all of Mongolia is in the grasp of Genghis Khan. Beyond are two vast empires, China to the east and Persia to the west. Persia is the sensible next choice of battle since it separates us from the rich forage pastures in Europe. But first, Genghis Khan has another score to settle. After witnessing the power of our cavalry in action, the Chinese spoke of nothing but peace. They even promised support for our campaign westward. But now that we have turned away from China, they have decided not to deliver the men in arms they promised Genghis. It is time for another demonstration. Persia can wait as the horde wheels east once more, and we prepare to march into China, the largest, most advanced empire in the world. Great God, we have captured a transport ship. Mongols, run for your lives! Great Khan, with these engineers we can establish a stronghold in China and construct powerful engines of destruction. <laughs> Go! <laughs> 
захир барилгач мэдэн байна барилгач 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 ти Amor 
Mormon dude. Sekir, beri dia kencing.
Amr Mindu, Berlichung. Shh. <laughs> 
What do our people who sleep in tents know of the word culture?
Die was hoi. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go. Right in that.
hybrid 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 Glorious slaughter. For years, visitors to China will be astounded by the mountain of human and horse skeletons that we have erected. The hordes have gained one huge advantage by this invasion of China. Technology. We now possess the knowledge and equipment to allow us to make siege weapons. We will crack open the Persian and European castles to reach the softer parts within. Genghis is pleased with our progress, and with the legacy he leaves behind. His mother once ate wild onions and rodents to keep from starving. But the children and grandchildren of Genghis will eat off plates of Persian gold. <laughs> 